Um, if you like declutteries, declutteries. <laughs> if you like declutter, holy shit. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Alexandria. I am behind the scenes today because your girl has not been looking so hot. But I'm doing an eyeshadow palette clutter today and I have a bunch of a bunch of palettes in front of me. And I'm going to try to get rid of some. I already have a good maybe 10 or so that I will be getting rid of, so if you like cutthroat, definitely not for you, but if you do enjoy watching palette declutters, please keep watching. Alright, so we're going to start with this J-Cat Melrose Place, or Melrose Ave 24 eyeshadow palette. And I have my thing still on here. So this is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette, but I've never used it. Okay, I really like, they have two rows of mattes and two rows of shimmers. And each color corresponds, like each color has a shimmer and a matte. So it's really like nice the way they set it up, and I really like the pinks and the purples and the blues. But I've never used it, so I, I just don't know. The the pans or the eyeshadows do have a good like texture to them. I've swatched them over here, and I had a big mishap. I had two of these, okay? I gave one of them away already, but I'm going to give this one away, too, because I don't need it. Then I just have two empty palettes. I have this Ofra one that's really fucking dirty. I'm keeping that. And then this ColourPop one is empty. I'm keeping that. I plan to buy more single shadows in 2019, so I will need those. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics, and I definitely am getting rid of this. I did use it when I first got it a lot. I actually had like a chunk of um, this black shade come out, but I just don't. This doesn't. What What am I supposed to do with this? It's not. It's not for me. It's not for my collection. So I will be getting rid of that. This is the Wet n Wild Trio in Fleur Vixen, and I don't know, like that center shade is pretty, but the brow bone, I have that shade, and the one on the bottom, the crease, or what the fuck does it say? Eyeliner? No. I, I really don't need like a sparkly red glitter black, like I don't, so I can say goodbye to that. That was a limited edition from like fall last year or the year before. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels, and I did like these palettes, but as I've tried more and more formulas, I have grown to not really like these, and I loved the color selection in this. I did. But a lot of these colors just show up as glitter, or they have a ton of glitter fallout. So, yeah. Not really what I'm going for, and I am the kind of person that I can't waste time with bad eyeshadow. I, don't, I really don't have time for it, as you guys, like, see my collection over there. Like, I, I have enough palettes. I don't need to waste time with that eyeshadow, so I will be going ahead and getting rid of this as well. Next up, we have this Estee Edit, whatever this was called. I don't, I don't remember. But this side is for, like, highlighting your face. I don't know. All right, and then this side is for your eyeshadow. Mind you, I bought this for, I think, less than $18, so it wasn't a bad deal. But the fact that I've never used it, yeah, it's kind of a bad deal. So, I'll be going ahead and getting rid of this. I wanted this ever since it came out, and then I found it last year at the Cosmetic Company outlet. But, it's time to go. Alright, this is the Blink Electric Eyes Eyeshadow Palette from BoxyCharm. And, I like, when we got this, I loved that we got it. But it's really similar to a Tarte palette I have that I actually really like. And I never used it on my eyes. I only swatched it. So that's really sad. But someone else would really love those colors, especially for like an everyday kind of person. And finally over here we have the Winky Luxe Kitten Palette. And I think this is like the cutest packaging ever. You know, I love cats. Cats are my favorite. And let me try to open with one hand. Alright, so I do think that the color selection is really beautiful. I think it's very unique, and there's not a lot of things out like this. But my problem is, this formula just doesn't work for me. The mattes are really hardly pressed, and they're not easy to blend. And the metallic shades really need to be built up, and really need to have a glitter glue, or need to be sprayed with a 
um, setting spray or water or whatever you have. So it's not worth my time and effort, especially with the mattes. The, the shimmers, I don't mind. I don't mind working with shimmers, but working with mattes that are extremely hard to work with, no. Okay. I really wanted to love this purple shade, but it is like hell and back to put that on the damn eyes. So we'll say goodbye to that and then we'll move on to those. Alright, so I did bring the turquoise one over here because these are new palettes that I'm like kind of working on getting into my collection. So this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal and yes I know the whole drama going on and I did try this palette out and this is like the shittiest quality <laughs> ever and I'm not talking about her as a person, I'm not talking about anything she did, I'm not talking about stupid drama. These eyeshadows suck ass. And I know there, it was like a big thing, like, you either loved it or hated it, and I fucking hate this formula. So, I am going to go ahead and declutter it. I don't know who the fuck is going to want it after all the drama, but yeah. Alright, then we have the BH Cosmetic It's My Ray Ray. And this is super cute. I bought this because of makeup struggles. She made me want it. So first we have like a face palette with some contours and highlights and everything. And then on this side we do have a palette, like an eyeshadow palette. And these colors are super pretty. I know the top row is just basic neutrals, but this middle row with the red and the purple and I don't know. I thought it would be a good palette that I could go to just for work. And I usually wear colors to work, but I thought, hey, what the hell, just have this. So I have been testing it out a little bit. I haven't dug that much into it, and I really like it. So I am happy with this purchase, and we'll be keeping it for now. All right, next up is the Violet of Vlo Vloss. <sighs> Violet Vloss Flamingo Palette. This is a lot more thick than I thought it was. That's what uh, she said. And it looks like a book. The, like, so cute. I love flamingos, yes. It has this nice mirror, whatever, it looks kind of childish with like the um, flamingo and the flip-flops, but whatever. Okay. Who the hell is liking this and who's not? Some of these mats suck ass. They take forever to build up and I don't know, I'm not wowed by it. Like, I do love the color selection overall, but I'm not wowed by it and I'm trying to like really try it out before I have time to return it or whatever. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to keep it, but I'm just not, I'm not as wild as I thought I would be. So I did want to tell you that real quick. All right, next up we do have these vault palettes. This fucking controversy too, you know. From Jaclyn Hill, I have, what do I have? Oh, Dark Magic. So this is the dark one. Let me tell you, this has been the easiest one to work with. Which is very surprising, but I really like this one so far. And then I do have the Bling Boss, I think this one is called. This one, I don't think I've had any problems with this one either. I really love these colors. This is the one I was most excited for, so keeping all of these because I'm still testing them out. But And then Armed and Gorgeous. This is the one that's been giving me a little bit of trouble with this green shade here called Top Secret, I believe. Um... Yeah, just not, not the best at blending on that shade, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll get a review later. But I am going to keep them for now because I am obviously still reviewing them. <sighs> Revolution, the Emily Edit, the Wants palette. This thing is ginormous. I think this is like one of the biggest palettes I do own, so let's kind of pan across here. Um, I haven't played with it a ton. I've only done a couple looks, and this is the only color... Um, family that's given me an issue. It does not like to be built up. I have no problem building all the other mats up, but that one in particular just doesn't like to be built up. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing, but other than that, I've been really liking it so far, but again, I'm still testing it out, so I'm keeping it for now. The Be Perfect Carnival palette. I'm going to try to speed up, you guys. I am still testing it out. Overall, yes, it's a good palette, but there are a few shades in here I'm not a big fan of. 
I will have a floor review coming maybe in a few weeks. But Then we have the Silk X Revolution palette. So this is from Silk Does Nails. And um, Makeup Struggles also made me buy this. And I do like it so far, but again, I just haven't had time to mess with it too much. So I can't give a full opinion on it, but if you know Makeup Struggles, she talks about this palette a lot. And I think she's hit pan out in some shades, so that's pretty cool. Then we have, so yeah, I am keeping that. Then we have the Morphe 3502. And, ooh, you guys, I hate this fucking palette so much. This is just, why did I, like, why did I buy this? This is the biggest thing in my collection that I'm like, why did I fucking buy this? Do you see dips? Do you see any kind of like swatching anything in any of these colors? Nope. The only color I wanted it for was this like red metallic. Can we like zoom in? And it sucks. I wanted it for that and it sucks. So yeah, I'm decluttering this and getting this the hell out of my collection. All right, now we're moving on to the big bin. So I have the Marvelous Mauves and Blushing Berries from Dose of Colors. You probably know what these already look like. But there is the Mauves. And then the Berries. I show this one all the fucking time, I, th I swear. And I love both of these, so I'm definitely keeping these. They have a really like powdery formula, but they're really easy to blend, so I do love those. I don't know what to do with this, you guys. Should I try to like depot this because they have the holes on the back? The only shade I really want to keep out of this is the blue. The blue is unlike anything I have. Everything else I don't really care about. But this is kind of like I want to depot it. Then moving on to this Tarte palette. Um, I do like this palette a lot. This is probably the best palette or palette I've purchased from Tarte. Really smooth, really blendable. The metallics are super nice. I used to use this every single day going to work. Um, I haven't reached for it recently, but it's just a pretty basic palette with a really good formula. So I am going to keep that. This is the e.l.f. Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in the shade Berry Please. So my friend Caitlin did send this to me, but honestly I haven't reached for it. So I'm going to declutter it. I'm sorry. I just... I mean, the one purple shade in there excited me, but I can't keep it in my collection for one shade. Like I did with the Natasha Denona. You know, whatever. Alright, this is a controversial one. This is the... Is it this one? Yeah. The Ablaze palette from Smashbox. Mine is... Awesome. I have awesome pigmentation, awesome blendability. I do like this palette, so I'm going to keep that. I know a lot of people had issues with theirs. Then we have the Smashbox. Ooh, is this one the smoky one? Yeah. I bought this palette just for the green shade. Like, that's what I wanted. And none of the other shades really wowed me besides that green. So I'm going to see if I can try to depot the green, but if not, honestly, I'll just declutter the whole damn thing. Oh, let me put that in the declutter pile. And then this purple one is the Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. And this is just a really cool toned palette with, like, two purples. Yeah, I don't reach for it, and I don't care about it, so it can go. Then we have these big two Tarte palettes. This is the Tartlet Toasted Palette, and I am going to keep it just to get more use out of it. I don't think the quality is that great, but it's okay. Um, yeah, if you're going to get this or like nakedy, I would definitely get naked heat. But I do want to get more use out of it before I declutter it. And then this one is the Tartlet in Bloom. And I do have a hard time getting rid of this because I did use this palette a lot. But, ooh, I don't know. Should I get rid of it? I'm going to put it in the, like, declutter pile, but if I go and get it back, I'm sorry. But I'm just telling you now. I'll put it in the declutter pile, okay? Oh, that's really hard for me to do. I think it's hard because it's a high-end palette, so it's, um, 
I don't know. It's just like I spent a ton of money on it, you know. This is the Purple Milani one called Plum Basics. I thought this eyeshadow palette was super shit quality. I don't want to open it. It's going to take me forever. Super shit quality as well as this blue one, which is called Smoky Essentials. So I'm declaring both of these. I really don't need shit quality. Alright, here's another CoverGirl one. This is the Goldens. I did think this was really good at first, but I just don't reach for these colors anymore, you guys. So I'm going to give it to someone who will use these on a daily basis and would really enjoy it. And then this Sony Kashuk one. Why the hell did I buy this? I bought this when Sony Kashuk was going on clearance, and I bought it for like $9.74. Why? This was already when I had my love of color. Why? Why did I buy this? I'm getting rid of that. Alright, here are some ColourPop palettes, and don't be afraid when you guys see the insides, because some people like actually shit their pants. So this is Dream Street. Looks like um, it's supposed to be the Yes Please, but it's not. This is Yes Please. <laughs> And then this is the element of surprise. So I did mix them up. But literally look at this. Look at that. That was from all three palettes. That's ridiculous. And then this is like a really warm, spicy palette. So I love that. I think I'm going to declutter this middle one and then keep the top and the bottom one. Which sucks because like I want this but at the same time I'm like oh, I don't need it. All right. Moving on to this one is really hard, but I do have to get rid of it. It just doesn't blend well and doesn't want me, and I haven't used it in forever. I did get a lot of use out of it when I first got it, but yeah, lately, no, it's just very chalky and very hard to blend, so I don't need it. Alright, you guys, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Now let's get to all the ones I'm not going to declare. <laughs> Alright, this is the Zulu by Juvia's. Obviously, like, I'm still working on, like, trying everything out. I think I've used every shade except for that one. But, yes, I do like it so far. I don't think it's, like, the best quality, but it is pretty damn good. So I will keep that. This is the Masquerade by Juvia's. I really love these kinds of colors, the two top rows. I could do without the bottom, too. But I do love that color selection, and I have been getting a fair amount of use out of them, so that's good. And then, of course, the Slush palette, which I did recently review. I have been loving these colors, and this whole formula is really, really nice. So, yes, I am keeping that one. Rest in peace, Naked palette. I see, I can't get rid of it now that it's discontinued. Yeah, I can't. So it was it was not my first palette, but I have to keep it for nostalgic reasons, and I do want to use it coming up soon. And then the Naked Heat is really fantastic quality. I do really like this palette. Um, like I said, between this and the Tarte Toasted, I would definitely pick up this palette. So yes, I hope the Naked Cherry is like this quality because I would feel comfortable recommending that without buying it. Um, the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, I am going to be keeping. This is a big palette, and looks like this. Pretty damn messy, because I use it a lot, and that shade came broken. But, yes, love this palette. Mattes are super easy to blend, and the metallics are super high shine. I'm sorry, I can't swatch everything, you guys. It literally take forever. Alright, this Tarte palette I am going to be keeping because it kind of has all the basics, and when I'm traveling, it's really easy to just take this for um, contour and eyebrows and everything. So I do like this for traveling. And I know they don't technically sell it anymore, but it's kind of just, yeah. All right, this Alamad palette, I am going to depot it, and I'm going to try to fi follow Kaylee's tutorial on it and film a video, so stay tuned for that. And I just wanted to pot it for the two blue shades and the green, because everything else is pretty dupable in my collection, and if I wanted it, like, I could keep it anyway. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going to put that in the declutter pile. This is the Pinky Rose Bright Lights, and I do like this palette. And like I said before, I am going to be doing a Battle of the Rainbow palettes, so stay tuned for that, and you'll see my, like, thoughts compared to everything, but... 
I am keeping it. This is the Lorac Pro 1. I am going to be getting rid of this, which breaks my heart because my very first YouTube video I filmed, I did live swatches of this, and I did that because I loved this palette, and it was my favorite palette that I owned, so that's really sad. <laughs> but I don't use it anymore. Let's give it to someone that does, or that will. The Anastasia Soft Glam. If you think I'm getting rid of any of my Anastasia palettes, you're high, because this bitch loves them. So I've gotten quite a bit of use out of her. Really do love it. And then I'll just show you my other ones real fast. This is Prism. Keeping her. Modern Renaissance. Keeping her. I actually got this one as a gift from my friend, so that's pretty cool. Norvina. Keeping her. And Subculture. Definitely keeping Subculture. And I'm really excited to break this out um, this month, actually, because it is fall, and I love using those kinds of colors in the fall. All right, moving on to Too Faced. I'm not getting rid of any of these either. So we have Chocolate Gold. I feel like I've talked this to death on my channel. Really great quality. Um, super blinding metallics, so definitely keeping this. Sweet Peach Palette I think is really good quality. I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it. I don't know what happened, but mine is really in great quality and I do like it. I used to use it a lot more, but still. Too Faced Clover. Again, love the quality. Really, really nice. And I just like, the packaging is so fucking cute, you guys. Like, hi, Clover. My narwhal. My kitty. Okay. Like, shut the fire up. Alright, bonbons and chocolate bar. I feel like these are a different quality. I think these are a lesser quality, so I do feel like Too Faced has stepped up the game in that aspect, but I can't get rid of them because they are nostalgic to me, and I'm just going to be honest on that. Um, I did use this this year at least, but it's not something I'm grabbing for, but I have to keep it. It's my first palette I ever got, and I used to be like a big Too Faced person. Chocolate bonbons, I think, is a little bit better quality than the original, but at the same time, like, it's not the best quality. But again, I have to keep it. Um, moving on, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I really like this palette. And I will be keeping her. Kind of running out of space here. The Heavy Metals, of course, I'm keeping this. If you guys know me, you know I love this palette. So we have the colors, we have the warm neutrals, so perfect, okay? Perfect, like, foil shades. Very comparable to, I feel like, the chocolate gold bar, if you have that. Alright, then we have my singles, obviously I'm keeping these. Uh, these are just some kind of, like, silvers and some whatever, metallics. I don't know, I can't talk anymore. And then these are all, like, my colors, so yes, I'm keeping them. I think I'm going to keep most of what's next. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. Such a good palette and such a great price. And I love the arrangement of colors without it being a rainbow palette. Highly recommend. This is a rainbow palette. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil. Um, I do think it's really good quality. I don't think it's the greatest. But it works for what I need and I really like it. I'm going to keep it. Um, the Too Faced Just Peachy. Caitlin did some this to me again. I still haven't used it. I'm literally horrible. I've just had so many new palettes coming in, so um, I'm going to keep this to test it out. Then we have the ColourPop Semi-Precious palette, and I really like these shadows. Like They're so buttery and so creamy and so metallic, so I will be keeping that. This NYX Vivid Ultimate Brights, I'm going to keep it for my Rainbow palette. Um, review, but other than that, I will be decluttering that. And I think Wet n Wild is last. Oops. So the Comfort Zone palette I am going to keep just because I know you can't get this um, formula anymore, and I do like this formula, so I'm going to keep this one. And then this is an old Formula 1 here, too. This is the, what is it called? Plaid to the Bone. So this was a limited edition one, and I'm going to get rid of it. I, I do like these two colors. I even like this one, but mm, never reach for it, and I don't really care to depot it. Alright, and then these new Wet n Wild ones, I'll tell you right now. This purple one, 
is called Petal... Petalette? Like a palette, but a petal? I don't fucking know. This one sucks ass, you guys. It's so powdery and so, like, shit. These purples don't blend well, and it sucks. So I can get rid of that. And then this one, I'm going to keep to test out the blue, but that purple, again, that purple really, really sucks. So, and those two shades don't mean shit to me, but I need to test out the blue. I haven't touched that. And then these two neutral ones, I haven't tried, I don't think. If I have, I can't remember. I'm, I know I swatched them, but I haven't tried them. So I'm going to keep them to try out. Alright guys, well I do hope you enjoyed this declutter. These are all of the palettes that I am decluttering. There is 25 I believe, and then these are my new ones, and then these are my normal ones. <laughs> so I don't know if it looks like a lot or not to you guys, but it feels nice to kind of move them on and reorganize what I do have. So um, if you like declutteries, declutteries, <laughs> if you like declutter, holy shit. If you like declutters, please like this video and um, leave a comment down below and tell me your favorite eyeshadow palette because I need more because I just declutter. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I would love to hear what your current favorite eyeshadow palette is. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.